In 2021, construction worker Ronnie Ortega and his newlywed wife Gabby fought the thirsty ox to fulfill Ronnie's lifelong dream of running a bar. When I first came into this bar, it needed a lot of work but I saw a lot of potential. And this has always been a dream to me. My parents owned several bars growing up, so I've been around bars my whole life. And I felt like someone else's trash was my treasure and I could turn this place around. When I first walked in this building, it was ugly. It literally looked like it was abandoned. I didn't have bartending experience prior to owning the bar, but my career background has always been focused on customer service. I thought as long as you're treating the customers right, everything is just gonna fall into place. Doing okay so far? But after realizing that the bar's income would not be enough to quit his day job, Ronnie was forced to put his dreams of revitalization on hold and hand over the day-to-day -day operations to his wife, Gabby. Oh, oh. Gabby gave up her job to work here full time, and uh, she's been holding it down pretty much by herself. I know that it's not easy for her. Our clientele is mainly our regulars, but I always wanted a new crowd in here. Another round of shots. Oh. <laughs> the people are like cartoon characters, dude. It's like something you would draw on the back of like your test. Hi, yeah, the party just started. Well, customers are savages. Now, the thirsty ox is losing up to $4,000 a month, with Ronnie and Gabby sinking into almost $50,000 worth of debt. We got to wait till after this weekend, Monday or Tuesday, so we can get our deposits in there, and we'll be able to pay our rent. And the financial stress is pushing the newlyweds' relationship to the breaking point. I love my husband, and... I feel like it's my job to stand behind him, no matter what. But this was Ronnie's idea. One dream that we had together is making a family. And then both of us, we agreed, like, let's not even try anymore. Just kind of hard when you can't provide for one. He lost about $4,000 in sales. Plus what we owe to the distributors. Okay. If the Thirsty Ox closes, we would lose everything. It breaks my heart. With just six months left before closing and the dream of starting a family on the line, Ronnie and Gabby have decided to pull back the doors, bust open the books, and make a call for help to Bar Rescue. Please They're say. really nice people. They really are. They just don't know how to run the bar. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.